Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the November 2018 Love From Lizzie card kits. I can't quite believe that this year's nearly finished and this is my 24th kit. It means I've actually been doing these kits for two years now. Um, it seems to have roared past. Um, this is however a kit that I can't wait to play with and I know that you're all very keen to see it. Um, and I will obviously bring that over shortly. I just want to run through a few things. Um, the, the blog challenge on the Love From Lizzie blog is still running. You've still got a few days to enter your um, lovely autumnal cards there. Um, we have got a special guest designer this month who you'll be seeing over the next coming days. Um, we will have the new, obviously, blog challenge going up on the first we're on shipping day my lovely sue is currently in new york having a lovely holiday a very well earned holiday which means she's left me holding the fort by myself <laughs> so please bear with me i will work through everything as quick as i possibly can um but yes i'm, I'm really super excited about everything um the release um, and the add-ons are going to be coming in the video straight after this one so once you finish watching this check back because the next one will be up but you're not here to listen to me chatter on you're here to have a look at this so this is the love from lizzie frozen forest card kit so what i'll do is as i do every month i will take away the embellishment bag and i'll dig into the a4 bag first and we'll have a nice run through to see what is in here so we will start with the card stock and this month, I've done something quite different. Every month, I always include lots of um, coloured cardstock for you. Now, this month, I am putting in five sheets of cardstock, as always, so to be able to make your ten cards. But I've actually put in three sheets of white and two sheets of craft. I've done this because the colours in this kit, I think, will really sing if they're on very clean, and very simple back backdrops now I didn't want to put in plain white standard cardstock because I know everybody likes to have um, alcohol friendly cardstock so I've put these three in here you may want to switch them out for your own cardstock if you're using them for card bases and not coloring on you may not but the options there and then obviously two sheets of craft because I think craft is lovely at Christmas time so that's the cardstock then I've popped some specialty in here and you are getting four sheets. Oh, may I mention here, sorry, at this point, this cardstock is eight and a half by 11 inches. So this is standard American and Canadian letter size. So if you split it in half, you've got your standard A2 size cards. So here we have the specialty. There is four sheets and these are in A5. So I will just measure this up in inches. This is eight, just over eight and a quarter by five and gosh, ever so slightly shy of six, more than five and a quarter. So um, ever so slightly different to American letter. And you, it's ever so slightly narrower on the width as you can see here it's a very small strip uh, but it is longer so it's a similar amount of cardstock just shaped slightly differently so these are in A4 and the four specialties that you get are half of the A4 so you have silver mirror you have acetate which is going to be awfully tr tricky to show on screen you have vellum and then you have white non-shed glitter. So they are your specialties. We also have in here the peel-offs. I did show these peel-offs in a sneak peek. They are the apple green mirror peel-offs. And they're brilliant because you sort of, you bend it back, they all stick up and I never throw any bit away unless it's sort of like a couple of millimeters. I keep every piece of this because they all come in use. Now we have the patterned papers. They are six by six inches. They are single sided and they are ever so slightly textured. 
I don't think my camera has got any hope to be able to pick um, the pattern up but I will, um, the texture I should say, I apologise um, but I'll run through obviously all the patterns with you so you've got, it's like a really nice um, soft green with very small little pop of a peachy orange um, and then a really lovely grey blue so there are 16 sheets in this kit and they all coordinate with one another beautifully like I love this one because this is just begging to be chopped apart and for a topper to be created from and you get that in two different colourways you get it in the green and also in the white um, and this is lovely this pattern different colourways really really pretty this is great um, for like a scene if you want to just chop that down to make it a card hard work's all done then you've got a lovely soft background there with some holly some snowflakes these are really sweet deer in the wood some rabbits some more of these corners similar to this in the green and you've got a scene along the bottom of the card of the paper there then you have some more of the deer but instead of the blue this is the green another one of these patterns but in a different colourway again and then the holly also with the green backdrop and then I think my personal favourite this one really very pretty so they are 16 patterned papers to coordinate with that I have included a sheet of stickers and these are super easy to peel, they're die cut and they're also textured but they're great if you if you want to make these into ephemera pieces obviously you can just stick them straight onto a piece of card and cut them out or to stick onto the acetate if you're putting a window on your card so there's a couple of sentiments there and the rest are all um, icons and then there is also a tag sheet now these are die cut so they will just pop straight out nice and easily uh, majority of them have got sentiments and they've got, some of them have got these little like, icons on but you could use these if you punch a little hole you could put a piece of ribbon through and actually use it as a tag on a present or you can just pop them onto your card there so lots of tags again all coordinating in and then there is the stamp and stencil set this month so the stencil is falling snow so it's got denser snow flakes up here as it were they're just little circles so it's not completely restricted I'm just wondering if perhaps I should take this out of here so you can better see here we go so it's got a denser spread towards the top falling down to quite nicely spaced out at the bottom so that's your stencil and then your stamp set this month which was sneaked over on Instagram as well is you have an infinity stamp set so this stamp can be re stamped repeatedly and it will go on and on forever in all directions it just it, it's a never ending pattern the same also with the border if you wanted to stamp end on end on end and then we have hello winter and let it snow and then some of the snowflakes from the background and the border I've pulled out and made larger so that you can do some loan stamping. So it's a really nice universal set that would work well even for winter cards. They don't have to be Christmas cards which is why I popped these two sentiments in. And then we have the embellishment bag. All the goodies. So I'm going to start with the ribbon as it's right up top. I'm not going to unwind it all. There is a metre of everything. And I've picked out this peach colour as sort of an accent. So you've got a really soft rose gold copper -y sort of colour. Then you've got a nice peach and then a warmer peach. You've also got white and a sparkly ribbon. And you've also got a piece of burlap, frayed burlap there to go as well. So you have those. We have Nouveau Drops as we do every month. And this is Wedgwood Blue, which is a really great blue to colour match in. We have a roll of washi tape, which sets Happy Christmas with sil in silver. Here we 
There we go, so it's silver foiled saying Happy Christmas. Really lovely and shiny, but a great way to add a sentiment to a card if you don't want to stamp. And we also have, just for Alicia, we've got tags. We've got two lovely big white tags. We have also got some smaller ones as well. I have tried this month as hard as possible to reduce the amount of Ziploc bags that I'm using, carbon footprint and all of that. So there are many things in here that are going to be packaged seemingly loose. Um, but those that I was worried about getting damaged, I have put into Ziplocs. So, okay, we have got some more coordinating products to the kit. We have got four of these tags. Now again, these tags have got little circles in, so you can cover these over, or you can leave them in as you see fit. So by all means use them as tags or on cards. I think that I think these are perfect to use on cards. We've got some felt pieces, which I don't often use. Felt and I have got a very funny relationship. I either love it or I hate it. Um, and this one is, is wonderful because some felt I find a, a very strange feeling, but this is very well set. It's not fuzzy as it were. So there are three snowflakes and there are also three animals. You've got the bunny, and you've got the fox, and then you have the deer. Also in the embellishment bag, we have some acetate sentiments. These went down ever so well last time. When I did them, they were obviously very different, but these are um, silver, and we have Noel, which actually has the umlaut, which is nice. So it's spelt correctly, oh gosh. And then we have Joy, we have Wish, we have Peace, we have Long Christmas, and we have Love. So we have those. We have a little bag of goodies here. You have four wooden Christmas trees that are ready to be painted or inked or stuck as they are. We also have five little stars and three jingle bells, tiny weeny little jingle bells. So I'm just gonna drop those back in there because they're the sorts of things that I will lose and then when I'm making later on, I will struggle. We have the Frozen fondant sequin mix, which I think actually may, may be a personal favourite of mine. I love these colours. It's like really soft blues, greens and whites. And then a hint of sort of, it's almost like a petrol silver. Really, really pretty. And then last, but by no means least, we have the dyes. So we have the sneak peeked stag head, which... I have here already die cut from the silver mirror. So that's a really pretty die. And then we also have a filigree star die. So you can see it's got little stars and swirls within it. So that, my lovelies, is the Love From Lizzie November 2018 card kit. I really hope you like it. Please pop me a comment below with what's your favorite. I've tried to jam in as much as humanly possible again to try to please everybody. Um, I am going to be making my cards full steam ahead um, and my video will be released on the 24th. If you're a subscriber, your add-ons are available to place up until and including the 27th this month. I'm giving you a few extra days simply because Sue is on holiday. So I won't um, be getting everything packed um, so as early as Sue does so every, everything will be fine but you've got until the 27th to place your orders for any additional things to be added into your kit boxes. Obviously if you are a subscriber to the kit the shipping is free after you've paid for your subscription so you can order as many times as you like and as much as you like 
and you shan't pay anything extra. Do check the release video because I've got coordinating add-ons and a whole array of other lovely goodies in time for Christmas and, and regular crafting. So, until then, thank you very much and I'll see you in a few days with 10 Cards 1 Kit. Bye!